I'm Mr. Herzog. I'm Ms. Sheehan. It's nice to meet you guys. Yes, and uh, so Ms. Sheehan will be with uh, as my student teacher. You'll be seeing her pop in, maybe even doing some of these videos over the course of the course that we're doing. Welcome to Open Campus Creative Writing. We are ecstatic about this course. Uh, Ms. Sheehan brings a lot of writing chops. She is the editor for... George Street Press, which is Millersville's literary and arts magazine. So also... Go ahead. I also work at the Writing Center on campus and have had extensive uh, coursework in creative writing, so uh, I'm well equipped to handle this course. And I've taught creative writing now for almost 10 years, uh, some some in the cla in the physical classroom, but a lot online as well. This will be my fourth year running the online course, and I helped develop it. So if you have any questions, ask me, or if something's wrong, it's probably my fault. Uh, but that's okay. We are excited about this course, and we're going to jump over and just walk through some key things that can help make you successful this year as you are going through this creative writing course. So here we are looking at the part one of creative writing. This, this is a full year course. Now, some of you are taking just the first half of it. Um, and those of you that are taking the second half, you can't take the second half without taking the first half of it. So if you're taking the second half, you're probably in the full year course. Um, but some of you might just be taking the first part. The first part of the course is geared toward poetry. Uh, there's a little bit of personal narrative in there to get us started. Uh, but if you are short story writers, you're going to want to hang around to the second part of the course, which will be starting in January. So because it's a full year course, there's a lot of time built in to do these modules. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, so uh, let's uh, jump on down through here and just take a look. So this is a course that when you log into it, you're supposed to do the, op the open campus tutorial video first. News and announcements every week, including the video that we're going to be publishing here in a bit, will be uh, here in the news and announcements. But there's another way that you also, also can get information I think is better, and that's down here. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about the Remind? Yeah, sure. So Remind is going to be an app that you sign up for that will send text alerts to your cell phone, reminding you about specific due dates, um, typically about two days before the assignment is due. Yeah, so these are, these are instructions, but it's going to be online here. We really are going to encourage all of you to sign up for it because it's one of the quickest way and easiest way to get reminders um, for you that, hey, you have an assignment coming up, you want to do it. And with that being said, following the due date and, and adhering to the due dates is crucial for this course. We're going to be doing workshops, and we can't do the workshops unless you're hitting hard and fast deadlines. So from the get-go, discipline yourself to get stuff in by the assigned date. If you're one of these students and ends up not hitting the due dates, You'll probably get a personal email communication or a message from us saying, hey, you're running late. You need to make sure you're keeping up with the due dates uh, because there's some assignments and once they close, you cannot make them up. And if we're doing a workshop and you don't submit by a certain date, uh, your grade will be penalized for that. So just be aware of it. So due date reminders, crucial for you in this course. Um, the other thing that I think is important, especially with an online community, is that you introduce yourself early. So the first assignment, um, so Monday the 26th is when this course officially opens up. By the 27th, we'd like you to give a brief introduction to yourself. And we're just we're not asking for anything too long. Uh, it might be helpful to post a picture of yourself if you want. Um, but two or three sentences about yourself. What we want to know, what we should know about your hobbies, interests, maybe even your writing interests, um, and to put your name in the subject line, and that's a small grade that you can kind of work with. The other place I want to point out is that if you have questions about the course, you can post them here. Obviously, you can contact Ms. Sheehan or myself, and we can get back to you. But this is also a place where beyond, let's say you're really into short stories, but we're doing poetry. If you want to post a short story idea up here and get some feedback from your peers, this is a place that you can do this. Or maybe you just have a favorite poem that you read recently or a short story or a video, a, a slam poem or a spoken word poem. You can just kind of post it right here. Uh, anything else we need to go over here? 
Um, I just want to reiterate the due dates. So they are listed in red. You'll be able to see them. Um, they're nice and big there for you. And also, um, I also wanted to touch on how collaborative writing is supposed to be. So in order to really have that collaborative effort here in the classroom, we really need you guys to hit those due dates because especially for workshop pieces, you know, if you can't get a feedback on your piece because you missed the workshop date, that means other peers are missing out on your valuable feedback as well. So just keep that in mind going forward. And we'll be practicing our first peer review practice workshop will be happening at the end of module one. Module one takes about four weeks to complete. Uh, there, it looks like there's a lot of assignments here, but they aren't very long assignments and you have plenty of time to complete them. And this is a good place for you to kind of practice hitting the due dates that need to be hit. Um, but this practice workshop is meant for you to kind of just practice that idea of giving feedback uh, and thorough feedback. And we'll be giving you more, more uh, uh, information about that as we kind of will work through it. Due dates are crucial. I can, I can honestly say that if you hit all the due dates, you will be successful at the scores. The students that don't hit the due dates are the ones that struggle to pass it. This is not a hard course because what we're looking for, what Ms. Sheehan and I are looking for as this course goes forward is growth in your writing. We aren't looking for you to be the next Stephen King necessarily, but we're looking to see that you start here and that you've improved your writing. And a lot of that happens through the workshop and adhering to the lessons that we have. So all that being said, uh, we are really excited about this course um, and uh, really looking forward to uh, seeing what you guys and gals write um, and uh, and we're excited to giving you feedback and for you to just kind of share your love of creative writing. And so we're looking forward to this year. But that's it. Yep. All right. Goodbye. We'll see you online.